Okay, so let's start our practice in a seated meditation. So you can come to a crisscross. And just lengthen up through the spine and relax the shoulders. Just remembered a time when I was teaching bar class last year. I think I had been online for a few weeks. And I had a grocery delivery that was really late. and they weren't delivering up to our doors. And so they just kept buzzing and ringing my doorbell. <laughs> and at the time I was so overwhelmed by it. And I think now with teaching yoga at home and working out at home and all that stuff, we've just gotten used to a bit of chaos and it's almost like a human experience, right? see the human side of your, your fitness instructors and realize that everyone has imperfections. So we're gonna do some deep stretching tonight. The intention being to just release any tension that we're holding. Whatever that might be. Let's take a big breath in, reach our arms up towards the sky. And then land the right palm and then just stretch over to the right with the left hand. Lift all the way up. Land the left palm, reach the right palm over to the left. Take the arms all the way up. And then let's do a rotation, landing the left palm onto the right knee, right fingertips behind you, gaze over the right shoulder. And then I'm gonna invite you to drop your right earlobe down towards your right shoulder. Stretch through the traps muscle. an inhale and then an exhale taking an inhale and an exhale taking an inhale and an exhale Taking an inhale, then an exhale. And then this time on the inhale, just rotate all the way up through center. And then we'll rotate the opposite way, landing the right palm, left palm, dropping the left earlobe down towards the left shoulder. Taking an inhale. And then an exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Taking an inhale and then an exhale. Taking an inhale and an exhale. Taking an inhale and an exhale. And this time inhaling the arms all the way up. And then exhaling the palms at heart center. So we're gonna come to our first standing forward fold. So coming up onto your feet, you can grip opposite elbows and just let your body dangle. Good, so we're gonna be here for approximately three minutes. Just kind of letting your blood flow to the brain. Letting the tension roll off your shoulders. Taking deep breaths in and out. linger there for a few more breaths. For two more minutes, I'm gonna mute myself, get my water. All right, it wasn't even my water delivery. <laughs> it was more non-alcoholic Belgian beer for the party tomorrow night. <laughs> I had ordered Heineken 0.0. And I guess there's some kind of block in the Suez Canal or something. Couldn't, couldn't get imported here to Abu Dhabi. I don't know why, but anyway, they just sent me over some other stuff to make up for it tonight. Maybe I need to manifest that water, work on that. <laughs> Take a few more breaths in this forward fold. And then just slowly start to roll all the way up to stand, bringing your spine to stack. And then just let your shoulders land on top of your body. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Just 
just processing that shape. Then come to your mat. You're gonna take your feet wide. You can slide your calves to the side, just sit your bottom back. And so this is a quad stretch. And if this feels like too much for your quads right away, you could do this on your back or sorry, on your tummy, just a regular quad stretch, pulling your quads in, or you might sit up on a block that's just gonna lessen the angle. So that works as well. And then if you wanna take it a little deeper, you might come back onto your elbows, maybe all the way onto your spines. So there's a lot of different variations. We'll be here for three minutes as well. Remaining in this pose for about five more breaths. And then you're gonna come onto your elbows and then just make your way up. Good, sliding your legs all the way around. And then we're gonna make our way onto our backs, leaving our left foot where it is. Push the right palm into the right thigh. And then stay here or lift off, interlacing the palms on the thigh or the shin. So often when we have low back tension, the cause from that can be tight hip flexors. We'll spend time kind of working into the hips today. And 
And then we'll do a little bit of a stretch through the back. Take a few more breaths. And then let's release our left foot, release our right, and then cross the left ankle on top of the right thigh, push the left palm into the left thigh, either stay here or interlace the palms on the thigh or the shin. is one of those yoga classes where normally I have a lot to say, but I just don't today. That's okay. Sometimes silence is what's needed.
take a few more breaths where you are. And then let's release the right foot. Release the left foot and you can just rock the knees from side to side. Lift the soles of feet up towards the sky. Let's grip onto either the outsides of the feet or maybe the big toes or maybe the ankles. This is happy baby pose. be here for a few more moments. I don't like this pose very much. I find it really uncomfortable. But I think that we need to explore the things that make us uncomfortable. Take about five more breaths. And bring our knees into pose. Open your arms into cactus arms. Drop the knees over to the right, land the right palm on the left thigh, gaze over the left shoulder. Spiraling into this twist. Take your arm all the way up. Pull the knees all the way through center. And then we'll drop the knees the opposite way, gaze over the right shoulder.
Take five more breaths here. We'll come all the way back through center. Just bringing soles and feet together. Let knees knock wide. Gripping palms to opposite elbows. Taking one last little rest pose. And then deciding whether you want to stay lying down or sitting up. Stretching out into a Shavasana. Just allow the, the final pose of this practice to Just hold you. I know that I'm gonna bring you back in a few minutes when the time is up.
Please prepare me to be sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. For you, please prepare me to be sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a Sanctuary for you. Give your fingers and toes a little wake up wiggle. Running a nice long stretch, fingers all the way through toes. Taking the knees into the chest, giving your body a sweet little hug. And then making your way up to a cross-legged shape with the palms at the heart center. Closing with our intention. It's an ancient intention, but it's the original intention. Passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice remains steady and our efforts remain continuous and that our yoga serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe and happy and healthy and free. May the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. Let's finish with an ohm and we're going to inhale and exhale and then inhale through to make the ohm. So taking a big breath in, big breath out, big breath in. so much for joining me for sharing this space in the practice the light in me it's season it honors the light in you namaste